This video is brought to you by Altium. In this next example, we are going to display the sensor value on the I2C supported OLED display module and we will also send the same sensor values to the Blink application. The regulated 5 volt power supply remains exactly the same. In this example, we are going to use a potentiometer as the sensor. The middle leg of the potentiometer is connected with the GPIO 36 which is the A0 pin while the other two legs of the potentiometer are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins. The SCL and SDA pins of the SSD1306 I2C supported OLED display module are connected with the GPIOs 22 and 21. GPIO 22 is the SCL and GPIO 21 is the SDA. The VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the ESP32 module. I connected the potentiometer and the OLED display module with the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module as per the circuit diagram already explained. To control this OLED display module, first we will need to install the correct libraries Adafruit underscore SSD1306.h and the Adafruit underscore GFX.h. Follow the same exact steps. Our libraries are installed. We will also need the simple timer.h library for creating a timer. I have installed all the necessary libraries. Now let's make the Blink application for monitoring the sensor values from anywhere around the world. Open the Blink application. Click on the new project. Write the project name. Click on the choose device and select ESP32 dev board and make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi and then finally click on the create button. Authentication token will be sent on your registered email ID which will be later used in the programming. Click anywhere on the screen and search for the gauge widget and add it. Click on the gauge widget and give it a name. Click on the pin and select virtual pin V2. Change the font size and click on the push button and select one second.
our sensor monitoring app is ready. The purpose of this program is to display the sensor values on the I2C supported OLED display module and also to send the same values to the Blink application. I started off by adding these libraries. I have already explained in very detail how to install libraries for the SSD 1306 OLED display module, Blink application and timer. You can see I have also added the wire.h. There is no need to install the wire library as it comes with the Arduino IDE. This is the authentication token which was sent via email while making the Blink application. I simply copied and pasted it over here. These are the Wi-Fi credentials. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Next I defined these variables for making delays and timers. 2000 milliseconds equals to 2 seconds. I will read the sensor after every 2 seconds. If you want to increase this delay then simply change this value. I also defined this timer to control the OLED display module. This portion of the code is used for the OLED display module. It simply defines the width, height and reset pin. As this type of the OLED display model has no reset pin, so that's why we have assigned a value of minus 1. You know ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module has multiple analog pins and you are free to use any of these pins. In this example code, I used a zero pin which is the GPIO 36. It doesn't matter if you write a zero or 36. Next I defined a variable port value of the type integer for storing the sensor value. Inside the setup function I activated the serial communication. I only used it for the debugging purposes. After finalizing your code then you can comment all the serial.print functions. Next I activated the blink. I set the A0 or GPIO 36 pin as the input. I also activated the OLED display module. 0x3c is the I2C address of the OLED display module which you can find in the device datasheet. GetSend data is a user defined function which is going to be called after every two seconds. I'm doing this because I don't want my controller to read the sensor after every few milliseconds. You might be thinking I could simply use a two seconds delay but you know delays disturbs the normal execution of the program and this is the reason in this example code I'm not using any delays. So this is why I'm using a timer. Finally, I added these instructions to clear the display and uh, selected the white text. Inside the loop function, I run the timer and blink. This portion of the code is used to make a delay using the millis function. We read the potentiometer which is connected with the GPIO 36 or a zero pin of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and store the value in variable part value. Next, I mapped the value. So this portion of the code reads the sensor after every two seconds and store the final value in the variable port value. Get send data function is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. This function is controlled using a timer. Inside this function, we use the blink.virtualWrite function to send the sensor values to the virtual pin V2. If you remember, while making the blink application, we selected the virtual pin V2. Finally, all these other instructions are used to display the text and sensor value on the OLED display module. So that's all about the programming. Now let's watch this ESP32 and Blink application based sensor monitoring system in action. You can use the same basic technique for monitoring different types of sensors. You can modify the code for monitoring multiple analog and digital sensors if you know how to use them. Enough with the Wi Fi. Next, we are going to use the ESP32 built in Bluetooth module. This video is sponsored by Altium. 
Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. The ESP32 built-in Bluetooth module can be quite handy in situations where you need to monitor different sensors and control different electrical loads over short distance. First, we are going to start with the sensor monitoring. I'll be using the same potentiometer as the sensor connected with the same GPIO 36 or a zero pin of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. You can use any Bluetooth supported Android app for receiving the sensor data. I'm using this simple Android app which I designed in Android Studio. I will provide a link to download the APK file. Let's take a look at the ESP32 Bluetooth sensor monitoring code. There is no need to install the Bluetooth serial library because this is included in the package. These lines of code enables the Bluetooth module. Next, I defined the serial BT as the Bluetooth serial. The potentiometer is connected with the GPIO 36 or a zero pin of the ESP32 module. Sensor underscore value is a variable of the type integer which I'm going to use for storing the sensor value. Inside the setup function, I activated the serial communication for the debugging purposes. I set the GPIO 36 or A0 pin of the ESP32 as the input to which the potentiometer is connected. Finally, we activate the Bluetooth module and set the name as the sensor underscore monitoring. If you want to use a different name, then go ahead and change it. Inside the loop function, we simply read the potentiometer using the analog read function and store the value in variable sensor underscore value. And finally, we send the sensor value text and the sensor value to the Android application. So that's all about the programming. Let's watch this ESP32 Bluetooth based sensor monitoring system in action. You can use ESP32 with Wi-Fi to control things over long distance which I have already explained. Next, I'm going to explain how to make a simple home automation project using the ESP32 built-in Bluetooth module. There is no change on the hardware side, the circuit diagram I have already explained. This time, I'm going to control these three relays using my cell phone app designed in Android Studio. 
with these relays as you can see I have connected a 220 volt AC fan 12 volt DC motor and a 220 volt AC bulb be very careful while working with 220 volt AC as it can be really dangerous don't forget to wear protective gloves each relay can be individually turned on and turned off I have also added this feedback functionality so each time you turn on or turn off the load you will get a feedback message now this can be very useful in situations when you need to control a device that you actually can't see now let's take a look at the programming these lines of code will remain the same this time I defined a variable blue data of the type long integer you can use strong passwords which can be even six to seven digits long the four relays are connected with the GPIOs 13, 12, 14 and 27. I added code for the fourth relay but I didn't add button in the Android app so we will be only controlling three relays. You can see these passwords which are used to turn on and turn off these relays. Inside the setup function I set all the relays as the output. Inside the loop function we monitor the Bluetooth so if the ESP32 Bluetooth has received any data then store it into the variable blue data and then compare it with the predefined passwords. So if the received number matches any of the predefined passwords the corresponding relay is turned on or turned off and a feedback message is sent to the Android app. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this ESP32 Bluetooth based home automation project in action.